with one or maybe two little upgrades you can get better print quality and make your life a little bit easier with the easy 3d x1 3d printer coming up on zachary's 3d prints Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to review news and other things you can do with 3D printing. If you're new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'll put every social media link that I have in the description of this video. You can, if you want, support this channel as well. The Patreon link I will put in the description of this video. Today we are going to do two upgrades on this Easy Street X1 3D printer. One is to improve your print quality and the other one is to have more filament on your Easy Street X1. So we are going to start first with the parts cooling fan. I got here a fan duct for a 25 millimeter fan i thought it was a 30 but it is 25 no big deal i still can use the 30 millimeter fan duct because i can there are some screw holes to screw it on i think i have some screws somewhere that i can use well screw. so we are going first to attach the first part for the parts cooling fan onto this side but before we are going to put those on here let's see on the inside what we have in the carriage so now we are going to turn around the printer and let's see how it looks like in on the inside so this is the inside of the ec3 x1 3d printer and because we have this opportunity why not to use it so we have here a few sets of wires one this one is for the extruder and the other one is for the hot end and the sensor so and here we have a wire that goes to the fan and another one that is spare this one is for the parts cooling so now we are going to disconnect it but at the other hand we don't need to we just leave it as it is there and we are going to remove the connector which is here so we take a cutter and we are going to cut it here something like that we remove it from the housing of the other fan duct put the screws on the sides and the clamp we put on the shelf also here we are going to do exactly the same um, I don't want to leave the cable that long just for the part that we need it but also not too short just cut it right here like that now we strip and we are going to pre prepare the wires for soldering so something like that then we take the it to be long enough to solder it with my soldering skills i need to do that Okay. 
can also use connectors, but I don't have the right connectors for this. So like that, it's equal. Like that. And now we are going to in time lapse. So as you can see it's printing now the shrine again. I had some black filament in it so I had to, had to get it out first. So, But as you can see Akira for the first layer the fan is off, the part cooling is off. But after a while when the print is, 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 is going on then the part cooling is going to be turned on. As you see correctly, I did use the 30 millimeter fan. I tied it in with one screw and I used double sided tape to put everything there without using any screws. Because you got here one lineal rod and we cannot use any screws there. So I sticked it with double sided tape to the Carriage. Now I can put a spool of one kilo on the holder and it will print nicely. As you can see the carriage is not going to hit the spool. So as you can see the parts cooling is working. It's doing its job. I use some double sided tape to keep it in place. I don't want to use some screws in here because everything is very tight to to other components or some other parts and I don't want to damage it. So I use some double sided tape and it's working perfectly. To wrap up this video, I added just two simple but way effective upgrades on this EZ3 X1 3D printer. A fan duct with a 30 millimeter fan that I had taken from a other project and use it for this one. And I also put a filament holder for kilo rolls. The one that EZ3 uses is a 250 gram rolls and I don't really need them. So some extra parts left for new projects. Well, what do I think about it? Well, I think the end result will speak for itself. This part I printed without fan duct and the picture that you will see now is printed with fan duct. So you can decide which of the two prints looks way better. I think for a very cheap 3D printer, I think the result looks amazing. Of course, with every 3D printer on the market, you can always make some upgrades to improve even better print results in the end. Because basic line, we all want to have nice prints coming out of our 3D printers. That being said, thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to Zachary 3D Prints, and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints. Bye bye.